Now, using the Bayard Servert law that we did in the last video, we'd like to find out the the magnetic field on the axis of a coil. So let this be the coil. Right? Let this be the coil. And let this be the coil, right? Centered at the origin. Fine. And what do we mean by axis? By axis, we mean the line that passes through the center of the coil and perpendicular to the plane of the coil, right? So, so this is a coil. So, this is say a coil with, with the current. This this arm is towards us, right? This and and this is away from us, and this is carrying a current I, and and the distance is. Distance from here to here is, is say, x. <clears throat> Let the radius of the coil be r. Fine. Now, at this point, at a distance x, if we are supposed to find out the, the current, let us try to do this. This current element has has this direction has this direction right coming towards us while the bottom one has a direction like that which is going away from us right this is the arrow that is going away from us this is coming towards us fine so ideal is towards us ideal is towards us and and r connects the ideal to to the point right so this is my this is my r right Now let's try to understand. I D L cross R will be a line that is will be will be in the direction which is perpendicular to the plane that contains D L and R, right? I D L and R, and that plane is is that slanting plane. Okay, the 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 plane that contains I D L, which is coming towards us. And the R is a plane that is that is that is that is resting on this and is, is slants like that. Do we see that? It is kind of a plane like this. Let me try to draw that. It is it is a plane. It is a plane. There is something like this. The plane is kind of this. Not even that. Like that, and it slants like this. Okay, this is the plane which contains this. You see this? This is a slanting plane, right? Now the 
the field is perpendicular to this it either up or down that that will be decided by ideal cross r now ideal is like that and cross r is this so looking from up it is in in counter clockwise direction so it mm -hmm. comes towards us so it is the 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 vector is kind of this right perpendicular to this plane do we see that do we understand okay it is like this now if you look at this okay if you look at this and try to connect it from here to here this will have these are two diametrically opposite points and and this will have another plane like that you know to which that will be perpendicular and that will point in this direction that will point in this direction such that these two angles are such that these two angles are equal right due to symmetry now if these two angles are equal then their vertical components this and this will be equal and opposite and hence will vanish now it will not only happen for these two there will be a pair of diametrically opposite points for every point on the on the loop right so this will keep on happening for all those points let me see that so what happens only only the the horizontal component adds up do we get that yes. so let us try to write the expression for db here db is i d l cross r cap right I should have given some space for me not upon 4 pi as well right so db is mu naught upon 4 pi ideal cross r ideal cross r upon r square right now let's try to to find out the angle between dl and r this is slanting down right but but this is still at 90 degrees do we see that this is this is a loop you you have there, there is a loop right there is a there, there is a loop now you you are taking taking something like that and moving keep on moving it like this right in the in the plane that i am showing it to be moving right in this plane if you move it it will be always always at 90 degrees to that element to which element to this element to this element no what it be this is coming towards me right this is coming towards me and from here so 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 this is at the peak this is at the top point right this is at the top point now from that top, top point to this point i have made made a line right now at the top it is directly facing towards you there there is a slight kind of tilt that i have given that's why the circle has become ellipse okay but it is directly facing towards you and something that is directly facing towards you from there this line is drawn this is exactly perpendicular to that no on the, uh, on, on the top point you kind of put put a put a stick that points towards you okay and from there you try to connect this point no 
you didn't get it I'll show it to you through a video or we can also understand it this way let me let me kind of erase this from here so 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 after you have understood we, we do not need this this plane because I'll have to build another plane that's why I have to erase this okay this is gone this is gone Right, so this is gone. Let me let me do this. Let me draw a plane that that passes through this and this, the axis and this radius that is vertical. So that is a plane that is that absolutely lies in that absolutely lies in 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 the in the plane of the screen that you are seeing right now, right? So so let me make that plane. Right. So 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 this is the plane, right? This is the plane. This is the plane. This. This. And this. Correct? This is the plane. Now what happens? This. Start from a point here. Take this R. This R moves in this plane. Okay, the orange plane. Okay, so, so, so let me kind of do it this way. This is the plane. It moves in the orange plane. It moves in the orange plane. So, so you see, and this plane is always perpendicular to the vector that is coming out, right? Is it not? Because this vector is perpendicular. It, it is indeed coming out of the screen towards us. So, so it is also perpendicular to the plane that, that I have built in the screen itself, right? Now, if it is perpendicular to that, then any line that moves in this plane, right? Any line that moves in this plane and, and this line, let us say, was originally like that. And then it started moving and came and touched this point because this point is also on the plane. Okay. I have drawn this in such a manner that the center of the circle is the plane of this screen. Half the circle, the semicircle is is within is is into the into the screen and and half of it is coming out towards you it is half of it is away from you half of it is coming towards you and the plane itself is in the screen and this line this green line that you see that we are moving in this plane the plane of the screen and since this point is here it will come and touch it so as long as since the plane itself since this vector itself is perpendicular to the plane all the lines that lie in this plane will be perpendicular to this vector do we understand now now right yes. so 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 this the angle between dl and r whatever you do even 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 if you make this this like that li like this then also it is 90 degrees right then also it is 90 degrees it does not look here but if you if you try to understand in 3d the way i have asked you to do it will be still 90 degrees. However, we do not require this. We, we only require require the angle this. But but DL the angle between DL and R is a 90 degree. Now let me undo whatever I have made because because I won't require it further.
okay so it's like that so so I just write the, this is the vector form of it I just like to write the scalar component so DB is I I DL into R cap into mod, mod DL into mod R cap that is one into into the angle between them which is 90 degrees so sine of the angle 90 degree right I again missed out on on mu naught right so let me write that so so mu naught is that I is that upon 4 pi is this and this is r square right this is your db okay. now the there is some angle between this and the axis and what is that angle let's try to see if this angle is theta okay since this is this is a right triangle in the plane this is theta then this is this is 90 minus theta if this is 90 minus theta why, why is that 90 minus theta because this is 90 mm -hmm. and if this is 90 minus theta these two lines the magenta and the and the and the axis they are perpendicular so this has to be theta and now we had seen that this 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 blue line and the yellow they are perpendicular because that is the direction of the field right it is perpendicular to both the vectors so since this is at 90 this is 90 degree to this so this is theta that's why this is 90 minus theta and if this is 90 minus theta these two also make an angle of 90. of 90 so this is theta there are so many 90 degrees being made right but you should understand <clears throat> once you understand it will not pose a difficulty to you so this is db but I am interested basically in the field that is pointing outward away and, and why that that because I know that the other one the vertical one has a tendency to get cancelled so this one we are talking about this field which is nothing but but db cos theta right so I say that the axial field is db cos theta and I know db, db is mu naught i dl 4 pi r square. What is r square by the way? R is nothing but x square plus r square x square plus r square root over or, or, or to the power half right to the power half let me erase this I do not require this right so so this is that now that into cos theta what is the value of cos theta here cos theta is base the base is R right the adjacent side upon the hypotenuse so upon 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 R right which is upon R now that becomes mu naught I DL upon 4 pi R cube is it not now that becomes mu naught i dl upon 4 pi r is x square plus r square x square plus r square to the power 3 upon 2 right this extends like this right now x looks like a variable but it is not x is a fixed quantity that r you 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 draw this from anywhere right you draw it from anywhere this will this will always be this why why because it is the slant height of the cone always right it is the slant height of the cone 
which is always a constant right it is a right circular cone sort of thing so so that will always be a constant so so this is always a constant these lengths so so this is fairly a constant value x looks like a variable right it has been named like a variable but it is pretty constant throughout fine so so how do i find the total field so so to find the total field you have to integrate all over the loop right so that's why i put a put a closed notation there and that becomes mu not i dl upon 4 pi x square plus r square to the power 3 upon 2. Now all of this is a constant. Mu naught is constant i 4 pi x square plus r square to the power 3 by 2. They are all constant so they come out of the sign of the integral and I am left with mu naught i upon 4 pi 4 pi into x square plus r square to the power 3 upon 2 into dl over the whole loop. Now what does that give you? That gives you 2 pi r, right? The total length is 2 pi r. So that gives you mu naught i into 2 pi r upon 4 pi into x square plus r square to the power 3 upon 2 right so 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 this gives you a 2 here and the final expression looks something like that this is mu naught i r upon 2 x square plus r square to the power 3 by 2 and that is your whole B. B at the center and directed directed by the right hand rule again. And this is the this is the other right hand rule. This is when you curl your fingers, when you curl your fingers in the direction of the fingers of your right hand in the direction of, of the current, the thumb, the thumb will do that, do that on the screen your thumb will start pointing in the direction of this axis right so so it is given by the thumb rule the direction is given by the thumb rule okay So it is mu naught i upon this and the direction is given by direction given by right hand rule. I had told you there are so many right hand rules and it is not the same one, right? Not, not the same original one. Fine. So so so, so, so that is the direction because, because B is a, a vector quantity, it, the direction has to be specified. Without that, it is incomplete. Fine? Without that, it is incomplete. Now, now, what if we want the field at the center? Okay? Field at the center of the loop. So at the zero center zero. of the loop. Zero. What happens there? If you want it to come to the center, this x collapses to zero. Is it not? Now let's try to put that. At the center, x is equal to 0. So let's put x is equal to 0 here. What do we get? b is equal to mu naught i r upon 2. This goes to 0. 
it is r to the power 2 to the power 3 by 2 so that becomes r cube no r to the power 2 to the power 3 upon 2 what happens the exponents multiply so this 3 by 2 now now that cancels and it gives you r cube right so this is r cube it is mu naught i by and this r cancels this right this r cancels and makes it r square so your b becomes mu naught i upon There was an R which we did not write here, right? Yes. yes. So, so this is another R. This R is still there. This R is there. And then another R comes in due to this. So, so here you have, you have mu naught i r square, right? I'm sorry for that. You know the i r square and and feel so so this is r square and cuts and gives you r right gives you r and hence this becomes this becomes mu naught i by 2 r because because if if it is r square in the denominator the dimension would have not been that of the field right so, so B is equal to mu naught I by 2 R at the center of the field, right? At the center of the field. What is the direction at the center of the loop? What is the direction? The direction remains the same, okay? Direction given by the right hand thumb rule. Right hand. RH stands for right hand. Thumb rule. So I think one more R will be left in the denominator. Yeah, one R is there, no? No, one That's more R. R square cancels R. R square cancels and makes it R. Uh, okay, then from where does okay. one more come? Sir, so, um, this is how we apply the rule. Yeah, this is how we apply the rule by the right hand thumb rule. You, if, if you have the loop like that, okay? So you have the loop like that, okay? You, you put your right hand like that so so maybe the knuckles will be pointing like that hold on so something like this not that take a finger obviously but okay and this and you know if this is your right hand and then your thumb will jut like that. I do not know how realistic that is, but this is your thumb. Okay. So if you, if you try to wrap your hands like this, okay, the the, the thumb will will kind of jut like that. It it will point in that direction, and that is the direction of the feet. Okay. Get that point. Mm -hmm. So so the direction of the feet is is here. Because my fingers curled around around this, right? So, so that's why. Fine.